Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a daily reading to get the messages and guidance Spirit has for you to help you through your day and on your soul's journey. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces Collective and their guides, guardians, angels, and ancestors, and higher selves in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. So let's see what messages and guidance we get for you today, Pisces. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video? The first message we have is the Three of Cups. This is a card of socialization, also a card of re reunion, a card of celebration, a card of engagement. There's another R word that I was um, trying to think of, not reunion, but recon thank you, reconciliation. Um, what other messages do you have for Pisces, please? What other messages do you have for Pisces? But I feel more this is about celebrating something, perhaps in your professional world. The Queen of Swords is feminine, air, energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So we see you making a decision, perhaps, that is more logical or being in a mindset that's more logical. What other messages for Pisces? The next message we have is the Eight of cups and we see you walking away moving on from something the queen of swords has her hand out and the sword raised so the sword isn't necessarily in a striking position but the hand is in a position to receive so when you are not receiving and you're making a logical decision about what's fair what's balanced as the queen of pentacles would do in a logical mindset you finally get to the point where you're ready to move on from a situation that's not giving to you anymore. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? The next card we have is the world showing a completion, showing satisfaction, fulfillment, going towards something, moving on, going towards a new gateway, but at the same time, closing one out. What other messages for Pisces? Then we have the Six of Cups, past memories, the past returning to you, it can also indicate soulmates. What other messages for Pisces, please? What else do you have for Pisces today, please, Spirit? And then the next message we have for you is the Ace of Wands. So going towards a new beginning, new growth, new expansion. And the Ace of Wands is directly beneath the Eight of Cups. So we're seeing you moving forward towards a new beginning or a new experience, new growth new expansion let's dive into this reading and see what we give you spirit what is this three of cups for pisces what does pisces need to know about this three of cups okay we have quite a few things coming out for the three of cups the first card is the nine of pentacles so you could be leaving a social group you could be moving on from a social group or moving on from some type of celebration but we're seeing you could also be celebrating an inflow of finances. The Nine of Pentacles is very secure, very stable. The next card is the Page of Swords. Page of Swords being a card of a message coming through in hours or days regarding perhaps your finances. Then we have the Eight of Swords, but there seems to be some reason that things are not initially moving forward, but then they will move forward, but you're not entirely sure the direction that they're going to be moving forward to, or you're moving forward with some degree of uncertainty. But the message, I feel the message that's coming forward is going to help you move out of a, a place where you may have been feeling a little bit stuck, Eight of Swords being a little bit stuck in your own mind. But here with the Six of Swords, you're moving forward towards the moon. So you could be moving forward in darkness, uh, metaphorical darkness or physical darkness traveling during nighttime as well what is this queen of swords please what does pisces need to know about this queen of swords and for the queen of swords we have the three of swords so we're seeing you moving forward from something some dynamic where you had your heart broken or there was some loss or some suffering on this particular card, we don't see the rain, but I'm because typically in the Three of Swords, you see rain. And I was seeing in my mind the rain coming down to wash away the heartache, the pain. 
But the thing about the Three of Swords is this has already occurred. This is a past energy. And the Queen of Swords, I feel, may even want justice for the past heartache and pain. So you could be wanting justice, but you're coming to a place where you're realizing that you can't get what you want out of an old situation. So you're moving on. What is this Eight of Cups for Pisces? What is this Eight of Cups for Pisces, please? Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing again, you're not getting what you want out of an old situation. And here for the Eight of Cups, we're having the Ace of Cups, which means you're moving from the Eight to the Nine of Cups, Eight plus One being Nine. So you're going towards a something new, an emotional cleansing, and I feel what's being cleansed out is this Three of Swords because you're coming to the terms with the fact that this was in the past, and if you can't get justice for it, then you may as well just move on from it. There's no sense wasting your time on something that you can't do anything about, that you're not going to get any type of reward for, or, or um, not reward, but, well, justice, but compensation for. What is this world, please? Why do we have the world here? And, and I'm picking up the, the energy of interpersonal dynamics for this, that you're moving on from people, places, things. Here we have the world card clarified by the temperance card. So it's timing, um, divine timing for a new contract, the temperance or the, the title card, which was trying to come out here and I put it back, but it came out again, is showing that it's time for something new, a new contract, a new initiative in your energy. What is this Six of Cups, please? What do we need to know about the Six of Cups? What is this Six of Cups for Pisces? Thank you. And we have the Hierophant. So some of the beliefs that you learned in childhood may be challenged during this time. The way that you expected people to be, the way you expected people to respond, the way that you thought justice would be served. Some of your beliefs, some of your paradigms could be challenged or shifting during this time. The Hierophant's also Taurus energy. Some of you may have a Taurus that was in your past. Let's get one more card for the Six of Cups, please, Spirit. One more card for the Six of Cups. What else do we need to do? Thank you. And here for the Six of Cups, we're getting the Queen of Cups. So this is about you moving forward from your past. I do feel the energy of a Taurus or somebody with Taurus traits that may want to appear back into your world. Let's go on to this Ace of Wands. What is this Ace of Wands? But you're focused on moving forward towards emotional, you're, you're not being hung up on heartache and pain and loss. You recognize the things or you're beginning to recognize the things that you can affect change over and the things that you cannot affect change over and the only thing you can control is yourself you cannot control other people or the outcomes of situations that involve other people here for the ace of wands we see you moving forward very stoically the emperor being aries energy not wearing your heart on your sleeve but moving forward very focused and looking at what's best for all who are involved rather than just yourself or just the other person. One more card for this Ace of Wands. And then for the Ace of Wands, we're also getting Knight of Cups. So you're going through an emotional change during this period, Pisces, where you're not necessarily behaving or you had, okay, you're, you're not necessarily behaving the ways you used to because you've really evolved into a new version of yourself that is going to be going through or has gone through a number of paradigm shifts, a number of behavioral shifts, and you're really looking at the world, the world in a different perspective and going forward with a new emotional beginning, washing the past away, not hanging on to the old energy, but realizing you want to go in the direction of your growth and expansion and having emotional change and new opportunities appear for you. Let's get one card for the overall energy of this reading for Pisces. One card for the overall energy of this reading for Pisces, please, Spirit. 
And here we're having three cards come out. The first one is stand your ground. So whatever circumstance you find yourself in, it's going to be important for you to know where you stand in the situation. Then we have throw a chakra. So right next to standing your ground is speaking your truth. And then we have the emperor coming out for the second time, which is being, you being the authority over your own life. Let's get one herb oracle, one herb oracle for Pisces for this reading, please. Okay, that's, that's three, but we'll take them. So the first herb oracle we have is manifestation. So you're manifesting new growth, new expansion for yourself. And the way you're deciding to manifest something new is by leaving behind the old. Then we have abundance. So manifesting abundance for you. And then we have introspection. So you're definitely in a time where you may be going through some introspection and analyzing and really looking at your thought patterns, your behaviors, and how you may have been ingrained or embroiled in past situations that are not serving your highest good anymore. Spirit one, fortune oracle for Pisces. Thank you. For your fortune oracle, we're having cracker, like as in firecracker. Positive energy surrounds you, love, joy, and good fortune await. So we definitely see as you move forward, you're going into this new growth, this new expansion. Positive energy is surrounding you and good fortune await as, in addition to love and joy. And the first card we have is the Three of Cups, which is also, which is also a card of joy. Spirit, one angel answers for Pisces for this reading, please. One angel answers for Pisces, thank you. And here for your angel answers today, we have peaceful resolution. So this is really what you're holding your hand out for now is you're not expecting or you're changing your expectations to no longer being one of needing revenge or justice. Not that we have a card here that indicates revenge, but some type of equalization is more appropriate of a description. And instead, you're looking towards peaceful resolutions. And if you cannot find peaceful resolutions in your current situations with people, places, things, or environments, then you're moving on because you want an emotionally clean slate. You don't want all the baggage of the past. You don't want to feel stuck. You don't want to be in your head. You really are looking forward towards peaceful resolutions. This is the message that I have for you today, Pisces. It's kind of short and sweet, but but hopefully it'll resonate with most of you. And I wish you the best. God bless.